Hi everyone, it's Karen the Geordie Grandma and I'm back with another Christmas gift guide. This one is aimed at a three-year-old boy, uh, so my grandson Ashton. I'm going to actually use these things in a DIY advent calendar. So rather than giving him a chocolate one, I thought I would give him a little gift every day that he can open and maybe not quite such an expensive gift for Christmas Day. And these things hopefully should keep him occupied and out of his mum and dad's hair. So I'll get on and show you what I got. I picked this up in a charity shop for 99 pence a few months ago and Ashton absolutely loves Kinder eggs, he loves them. So what I thought I'd do was, he opened it up and you can fill it with Kinder eggs or you could fill it with anything really, um, little toys, you know, things like that. So I picked that up and I thought I would put some Kinder eggs in that is, is one of the gifts. So that's my little Kinder Surprise Man. I'll get the foodie stuff out of the way because I did get him some sweetie things. I tried not to get him very many. His mum said it was okay um, to get him some. He likes marshmallows. I'm hoping his mum and dad are going to help him eat these and he's not going to eat the whole packet. But he likes marshmallows, so I got a bag of marshmallows. They were from Poundland. I also got these from Poundland, some Kinder Happy Hippos. I could actually just take these out of there and put them in that little Kinder Man. I might do that with some eggs. Just little biscuits with some chocolate filling in there. Um, also got a couple of Kinder eggs. Now these were only 59 pence each, or 50 pence each at Poundland, which is a really good bargain because I think they're about 89, 99 pence elsewhere. So pick them up in Poundland if you know somebody who likes them. Next was these foam smileys, assorted sizes, peel and stick. I thought they'd keep them occupied for a while, sticking those on things. This little foam, the foam, yeah, foam smileys. I thought they would keep them occupied, so they were a pound. I got this one in B and M, and I think this was one forty nine, and it's a magic bubble wand. No, actually, I had a little TV screen above these when I was in B&M showing you how it worked, and I can't remember how it worked now. But magic bubbles that you can catch and hold. He loves bubbles, so I thought that would that would keep him occupied. Um, another little couple of eggs that I'm going to put in the Kinder Egg. These aren't Kinder. These are Toy Story ones, and I think they've got um, jelly beans in them with a little toy. Kids love that kind of stuff, and... To me, they're such a waste. I got him a little Avengers. He loves Avengers. Absolutely mad on Avengers. So I got him a little Avengers sticky wall crawler. I think I got that from B&M as well. And I think that may have been 149. But he should he, that should be fun for him. Now I saw these in... These were reduced... Or Warren actually saw these in Home Bargains. And I think these were reduced to £2.49 each which is a little more than I wanted to pay, but I did think they were worth it. The Star Wars Micro Force vehicles. He loves his cars and stuff, and he's, his dad's absolutely mad on Star Wars, so Ashton knows all about Star Wars. So we've got a little, I don't know what it's called, oh, that's Ray's Speeder, and I also got him a Snow Speeder one. Just little uh, Star Wars vehicles. So they'll go in i got them um, this was from the works and this was two pound fifty it's just a little sticker book stop here santa including one over 100 stickers so it's got santa's workshop um and you've got the little stickers here that you can stick in he hasn't quite fathomed out how to use stickers just yet. He just sticks them on a piece of paper and he sticks them on top of each other. But it keeps him occupied and he enjoys it. So I thought stickers were a good idea. Got him a little colouring book. Because he's just starting to colour in. He's, he just scribbles the whole thing out. But he still likes to do it. And this is a Christmas one. So we should like the pictures. You know, the Santa and his reindeers. Little, little girl playing, uh, singing Christmas carols. Uh... What else? A Merry Christmas thing. So, little colouring book. That was also £2 from the works. Got him a little um, book. I think I got this from the works as well. Um, 
it does say 6.99 on the back but i definitely didn't pay 6.99 i'm sure that was only a pound so mess monsters at christmas because i'm sure he's going to be very messy so he should learn all about that and i thought the pictures in that were really good not many words in because he just likes to look at the pictures um and if you're going to read him the story you don't want too many words because he gets really distracted so that was that got him some more stickers these are from Poundland and you get two for a pound and like I said he loves stickers so I thought they would these would really keep him occupied there's some space ones with spaceships and things and then there's some trains he loves these trains loves Thomas the Tank so there's some more stickers I got him another book this one was from Aldi and it's 99 pence and they've got quite a few different books in but he loves these superheroes so I thought he'd like this one Mega Boy a powerful superhero story and that looks great i want to read that myself actually it looks so colorful doesn't it just nice pictures um nice and easy for his parents to read or for me to read if we keep it here just a nice little book i like kids to have books to read i think it's good i think it helps them learn and it's it you know it's it takes them away from the tv another sticker pack um another christmas one so it's got santas and snowmen there's two sheets in there that was from Poundland and that was a pound. So he, uh, he probably stick the stickers in the colouring book um, rather than colouring it in. So lots of stickers that should keep him occupied for quite a while. I got him a little chalkboard with some chalks and a rubber. He has a little um, Crayola uh, easel desk thing here at, at his grandma's house. Um, but he hasn't got, a, I don't think he's got a chalkboard at home. So I thought I'd get him this little chalkboard because he does like the, he likes to scribble the chalk and then he likes to rub it out. So that was a pound from Poundland. These I thought were a fantastic buy. These are coloured pencils and toppers. And they've got a little Christmas figures on the top. I just thought they were so cute. And they're only 99p. And they were from Home Bargains. I just think they're great. I want to use them myself actually. And there's, there's 10 in that pack. Probably need a pencil sharpener so he can sharpen them as well. But I thought they were nice. This is from Poundland, an Elf Mates uh, matching game. Because he's getting to that stage where he calls it Samies. So you can have a pack of Samies uh, with little elves on. That should keep him happy. I also got him something a bit more practical. And this is a toothbrush. I'm not sure what he's going to make of this. But it is a toothbrush with a timer. So you press the button. I'm not going to press it because it goes on for two minutes. Um, and it, it plays the music for two minutes. So you can brush his teeth for two minutes and then he knows to stop. I just thought that was really fun. I could probably do one of those myself. Um, but again, I'm not sure what he's going to make of that when he opens that one. And that was a... Was that a pound? That may have been one ninety nine. Definitely... None of these things, apart from one of the books in the little Star Wars things, were over £2. They were all under £2. So that was the toothbrush. Got him some little Hot Wheel kind of blind bag thing with a putty bike inside. Loves that kind of thing. He got some Hot Wheel stuff for his birthday, so he should like that. Got him these, uh, this glow wand, a Christmassy glow wand from Poundland. Now it does say seven plus on it and he's only three, uh, but his mum and dad will be with him, so that should be fine. And it's a little glow stick with a little um, Christmas stocking on the top. And I think you wave them around in the glow in the dark. Who knew? That was that one. I got him some dinosaur bath fizzers. I was actually looking for, I seen on somebody else's channel, um, Sparkly Princess Lynette. I saw her, she picked up some bath fizzers from Poundland. There was a Hulk hand one and there was a Captain America shield. Now, like I just said before, Ashton loves Avengers. So I was looking for them and it sold out. I was absolutely gutted. No, you can't sell out. I need them. But they didn't have any left. So I found these dinosaur ones and he does like dinosaurs. And I said to Nick Larry's mum, I said, um, what will he make of these when he, when he opens them? Will he be like wanting to eat them or something she says no he likes me to put bath fizzers in the bath for him when we're going so he probably just want to get in the bath straight away so there's three dinosaur bath fizzers in there and they were also a pound from Poundland. uh we've got him a little the world's smallest torch 
I think all kids like playing with torches. You know, he likes investigating small spaces. He can shine his torch in and see what's what. So that was that one. That was also from Poundland. Um, a box of crayons, some jumbo wax crayons. There's 16 in there. And they were from Poundland. Um, so only a pound. So obviously if you've got a colouring book, you're going to need crayons. Although he probably does have crayons. But you can, all, you can never have too many crayons. So that was those. And the last thing in here is a, uh, a Spider-Man portable light friend. Now this, I actually bought about eight of these. If you don't know, I actually sell stuff on eBay and Amazon. So I buy things in charity shops and car boots and sometimes supermarkets and other shops. Uh, and I'll sell them on eBay or if they're new, I'll send them into Amazon. Now this one, the packaging was all torn. So I couldn't send this into Amazon as new. So I thought I'd keep it and I'll give it to Ashton. So this is going to be one of his gifts. And it's a little squidgy thing. And if you, you squash him out, I don't know if he's got batteries in or not. I'll have to have a look. I think you might have to put batteries in. You squeeze him and he lights up. So he's at that age where he's a little bit scared of the dark. So I thought that might be good for him to take to bed. It's Avengers. It's Spider-Man. It lights up. It'll help scare the bogeyman away. So you'll probably like that. So that was everything I got for Ashton's DIY advent calendar. I know some people might think, you know, you've spent too much. You probably get people who think, well, that's not enough. But like I said, you don't have to put them in an advent calendar. You could put all that together in a little gift hamper and, and give him that for Christmas Day. And he'd probably be perfectly happy with that rather than some expensive present. You know, kids, they don't know the cost of things. They like little stuff. I mean, like I said, fascinated with stickers and they were two for a pound. So I'm quite happy with what I've bought him and I hope he's happy with it. I just wish I was going to be there every day to see him open it. So like I said on previous videos, was there anything in there you wouldn't have bought? Is there anything else you may have added in that I haven't thought of? Um, I'd really like to know, just let us know in the comments below. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.